Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching this video today. Today I'm going to be buying 80s tickets. If you didn't already know, this is not my first ticketing experience. However, it is my first ticketing experience on AXS. All of the other ticketing experiences I have ever had have been on Ticketmaster, of which we do not like on this channel because they always cause headaches. Um, if you didn't know, I've done BTS two times, once for PTD LA, once for PTD Las Vegas. Then I did twice. After twice, I did Stray Kids. And after Stray Kids, I did TXT. And after TXT, I did in Hypen. And now I'm doing 80s. Wow, that's a lot of ticketing experiences that I've had. Uh, the reason why I'm doing the ticketing today is because I magically happened to get a pre-sale code yesterday for the Oakland show uh, that ATs ended up adding after they announced their tour. Um, I originally was not going to go because they only had shows in Anaheim and because I don't hard stand ATs I was like I'm not going to travel to LA to go watch them but because they did an Oakland show I'm going to uh, get a ticket to the Oakland show. I'm not trying to get floor. I do not want to get VIP. I heard that it's GA, which means it's not seated, and it's first come, first serve, which means it's gonna be a bloodbath, and I'm not willing to do that for ATs. I am, however, gonna have to do that for in Hypen uh, when I do go. And last thing I'd like to mention is, this video is probably gonna go up before my KCON and my MCND vlogs, but this video has to go up so that you guys can know that I'm going to ATs. Um, because I'm manifesting that I will get a ticket. Uh, and yeah, um, I will come back when it's four o'clock because there's no waiting room here, unlike Ticketmaster. It's just at four o'clock, you type in your code and you get in. So uh, I think I'll come back like two minutes before or so uh, just to show that and I'll show my screen and everything at that point too. So um, stay tuned. Okay, uh, scratch that. Uh, this is literally like 20 seconds after I just recorded that last clip. Um, there actually is a waiting room, um, and it just says AXS, and it says tickets go on sale soon, you're in the right place, and it's almost the right time. And then it has a countdown, it says 23 minutes and so and such seconds. Um, and it says that the page will automatically refresh when it's time, and then under it are just some, uh, ads that it's playing. I guess there's 23 minutes and like 10 seconds left, so I'll come back when it's like maybe five minutes to go. All right, I have returned. There are three minutes and like 40 seconds left uh, before the queue is officially opened. Um, not too worried about it because it's the Oakland show and I feel like most of the Bay people already bought tickets to the LA show thinking that there wasn't going to be a Bay Area show. Um, and then I also feel like most of the people are going to go for GA. I don't think a lot of people are actually going to be aiming for the 100s, which is the section that I want to get. Um, and I'll even take nosebleeds if that's my last option because I had nosebleeds for twice and it wasn't even that bad. So. Um, now comes a part of the video where I explain to you why it is that I'm trying to go to ATs. Okay, first of all, because it's in Oakland and the Oakland venue is not that far from me. Uh, but number two, I do have a bias in ATs. Uh, my bias is Sun. And I believe that my record is Wu Young. I haven't really put too much thought into it. Um, I can't really recognize the other uh, members by name. I just know that San is my bias, and uh, that's kind of all I got for you right now. Um, the reason why I got into ATs is because um, uh, I think it was last year when Fireworks came out, one of my friends introduced it to me, and I really, really liked that song. I had already known about ATs. From the pirate era but I didn't stand them at the time because I wasn't actually into k-pop 30 seconds left before it opens um, I had a lot of chaos just go on uh, anywho I knew about them from the pirate era and the first video I had seen them was them I think reacting to other k-pop music videos on the react channel um, and I sort of started listening to them at that point but um, 
it wasn't like my my main thing at the time. I was uh, really obsessed with like other artists at the time. Um, anywho, I want to go because I like San and uh, what made him my bias was the Studio Chum video where he has the pink hair. Um, yeah. Okay, so we have officially made it into the queue. It says tons of fans want tickets for this event just like you. Your turn is coming up. Hang tight and good luck. Um, this one does not have a queue number like Ticketmaster. It does not say 2000 plus or anything like that. I really don't know how many people are in front of me. There is just a blank bar that I am assuming uh, will eventually uh, fill up or something like that. Um, I don't know what this video is down here and not sure uh, what to do about it other than like, okay, um, sure. I, I'm not really interested in the videos at the bottom. I'm just interested in buying my ticket. Um, yeah, that's that. Um, sorry about the weird setup. I guess now is the part where we kind of just wait around. And it's sped up for you, but I have to wait in real time. So actually, no, you're not going to be watching me wait for the tickets to go through. I'm just going to explain what happened because all of these clips are extremely confusing to watch without any context. So I think it's just easier both for you and for me if I just explain what happened straight up. So I was trying to purchase two tickets, one for me and one for my friend Amber, who you have seen in my videos before. And we were both actually trying to get tickets at the same time um, because we were trying to see who would get in first. So Amber was having an issue with her account where she couldn't actually purchase the tickets um, because it just kept saying there was an unknown error and to come back later. I was having the same problem. We both refreshed our pages. We both um, tried on our phones and it was not working. And then after I talked to several of my friends that I had met in my university's K-pop club, they told me that the problem was their home Wi-Fi. And once they disconnected from their home Wi-Fi and used their cellular data, they could actually purchase the tickets. So I hopped on my phone and I tried the same process. I disconnected from my home Wi-Fi and through my phone service, I was actually able to proceed to the payment portion of buying tickets. And here's that clip. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Stand up, stand up. Oh my God, okay. I managed to get them on my phone. Um, it, the problem was my home Wi-Fi, which is kind of weird. Um, um, yes, it's this. I have to input the credit number, the, the card number right now. I had already saved my payment information. Oh no, I gotta pull it up. I gotta pull it up. I gotta pull it up. It's, it's processing. Come on, take the payment! Take the damn pay! Oh my god, why did it go white? Take the damn payment, AXS! AXS, what are you doing? AXS! I don't want to... AXS! Oh my god! AXS, what are you doing to... This is... This is not okay. This is not okay. This is not okay. AXS, come on, please. I don't. Okay, I'm gonna have to press the And I lost the ticket! Ah! I hate it here. Oh my god. Why did it turn white? Why did it turn white? Okay, we're trying again. It's fine. We're trying again. It's okay. We're trying again here, guys. Okay. <sighs> This is so, I had the tickets, they were in my hand, the screen turned white, and they went away. Okay, give me, give me, these are the ones I want. I want these, please, 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 please. Okay, yes, 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 continue, continue, continue. Go, 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 pay the thing, pay the thing. Okay, I have to re-answer the card info, okay. Here goes, I did the whole process, confirm purchase. Come on. Come on. Yeah! Yeah! Purchase is complete! I got to see AATs! Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm gonna see AATs! I'm gonna see AATs! I'm gonna see 
M80s. No, oh my god, that was so stressful. Oh, that was so stressful. Oh my god. Oh my god, that is the most stressful ticketing experience I've ever had. I'm gonna tell Amber now. Holy. Oh my, I need a few minutes to compose myself and then I'll do my outro. Now that I've relaxed and I've reset up my, uh, one of my cameras, I can do my outro. So yes, I will be going to AT's. I purchased two tickets in the 105 section and with fees and everything included, each ticket was $217 with 90 cents, um, which I think is not that far off from how much I paid for my twice ticket. Um, this was way more stressful than Ticketmaster because I had no idea what the issue was and I had refreshed multiple times. I even restarted my phone. Um, but it turns out that the issue was oddly my home Wi-Fi for some reason, even though my home Wi-Fi has never uh, given me problems when I've been purchasing on Ticketmaster, but I guess it was on AXS. And once I switched over to my phone data on my app, I was able to purchase the tickets. So I will be going to AT's in Oakland in November. Um, I will see you guys there. If you recognize me, go ahead and say hi. I do not mind meeting new people. Um, and also, if you like this video, please go ahead, like, comment, and share, and subscribe. Um, especially the liking and the commenting because that actually really, really boosts my videos and helps me out a lot. So if you want other people to see my content, uh, please make sure to leave a like and comment and that's it. I love you guys. Bye